are we having fun yet? I hope we are. In this video, we're going to be going over uh, these four guys here and, uh, you know, all of their super fun ways. So uh, an LFO is basically a very slow oscillator, and what it does is it causes changes over time. So the easiest uh, thing I can do is just kind of show you what it does. Right. So we have our filter here, and just like before, uh, we want to modulate it. My nose always gets itchy. So we want to modulate it, so we just drag and drop there. So this is a little bit different from the ADSR. So it's a little bit different. Um, you'll see that it's split. So, you know, like before, like the blue guys, I'll just show you. Oops, I'll just show you here. Uh, m using the envelopes, this is the start. This is the maximum velocity, and this is where it ends, right? For LFOs, it's a little bit different. This is the center point, and the LFO vibrates between this and that. So, you know, that might sound a little familiar to you. You, always, you can right-click and just get rid of your modulation. This will be a wobble. Right. So, what, what did I do there? I should really explain that. So, there's different kinds of uh, LFOs, LFO shapes. And uh, in Massive, you can match between them. So this is a sine wave. So it's, you know, it's a sine wave. It's a very smooth, like, articulation. Uh, down here, you mix them. Uh, this is a saw or a ramp, a ramp down. Which is kind of like an ADSR, but a little bit different, right? Um, we're going to be focusing, for now, on uh, sine wave LFOs. Right, so that plays at a rate, and it doesn't matter which rate it is. Or it, it plays at the, the same rate, it doesn't matter what key you press. Right, and that is modulating the cutoff, and you can make that more intense. Right, and the, it's really fun to get a lot of expression. Uh, rate. Rate is the speed of that oscillator, so this is really slow. Super slow. Right, and then you can increase it all the way into the FM range. And you get really interesting results that way, and that is cool. So the rate, right, that is the rate. Uh, down here, the amp is the amount that is being pumped in here. So, right, so that's very gentle. It's the same as, like, bringing this down, but if you want to, like, modulate the amplifier with an envelope, you can get into really kind of complex things that way. Right, and that's all well and cool. Um, one thing I want to show you is the, the, the sync. So this will sync the speed of the LFO to your tempo. So it's the ratio of uh, like uh, of a of a particular bar. So I th I assume one to one would be one bar, and this would be one to four would be a quarter. Right. So that would al always sync. Right, and then you can uh, double that. Two sixteenths, so one sixteenth. So yeah, think of it like that. So one quarter. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. I figured something out. Uh, so we're going to turn off uh, the sync, obviously. Um, restart, it restarts the cycle at this point, or this point, every time you hit the new key. So, so it's kind of like, an, uh, like a, an envelope or an ADSR. Uh, if you turn off restart, it just it, the cycle's going even if we're not playing anything. Right? But when we turn it on, it starts, it's triggered automatically. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to show you the other stuff. Right, so uh, yeah, we'll go to envelope, oops, we'll go to oscillator 5, and we'll drop that onto our pitch, right? And then we'll, we're going to modulate the pitch. Right. 
So yeah, minus the unison and the effects, that's basically a lead, right? There's also an internal envelope that can only be used within this. It can only be used within this. So uh, we can map that to our amplifier, our rate. So this uh, modulates the intensity. So, so what I'll do is I'll increase the attack. Oh, I did it in reverse. So, right. So it starts here, and the 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 envelope, simple attack and uh, decay. That's all you need, really. It's starting out, and there's no modulation of the pitch. And it becomes more intense, right? And we can do that kind of in reverse. Right, so that's good for like super cool leads of doom and getting like a lot of expression, right? And it's something that you know I I really like to do. Um, and there's there's a feature in the virus so you can do that, but you can do it in massive too. It's pretty cool. Um, curve select. So there's a lot of curves, um, and they can all be, uh, you know, molded together. Uh, there's some really, really interesting ones. So I will go to our filter. Right, and that's all. That's all well and fun. Then you can morph between them. So if I wanted to kind of, you know, spice up a sine wave. Right, and I can adjust the uh, start and stop time. I want to give you a better example. Okay, we have a square here. So I have that. I want to mix a square and a sine to get a unique kind of result. And then I can adjust the uh, the phase of it. So we're getting a, a really unique uh, LFO. Instead of just on and off and then gradually on and off. Um, uh, yeah. Isn't, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, basically our LFO. Uh, so we're going to go into our performer. Now this is a little bit different. This is a step sequencer um, that is for the wobbles. It's not something that I'm too fond of, but it's pretty cool. So it's kind of a sequencer here. Uh, we will sync it. So it, it, it just goes like that, and I believe we can skip steps or make the the sequence shorter oh, I guess not anyway right, so what you can do is you can get some really interesting things by changing these guys so you click on uh, load curve and you can adjust different things and do cool stuff Right, so I guess I'll do the obligatory so you can really hear the effect. Don't judge me. Oops. Well, that's a bad example because I suck. But yeah, generally you can get some really kind of neat. Right, I don't know, I can't do it. But you can get some neat uh, modulations this way in a step sequencer uh, LFO uh, type environment. And that's good for some people. And it's you know pretty cool to uh, go about. And of course there's the amp, so you can make it. So you can modulate this with something else and, to, and you can get something really interesting simply by kind of dragging this guy here. Right, okay. 
enough of that. Uh, so the last one is uh, my favorite, and this is the stepper. So this is kind of, it takes a, it's a, kind of like sample and hold, but you have, you know, steps. So it's kind of like a step sequencer for your cool sounds. So think of it like something like a big flashy box that would sequence a piece of analog gear. So you do basically draw stuff in, and each of these is a value, and it's held for a specific amount of time. Right, and it can be synced. Right, and you can you can even step sequence uh, uh, an envelope uh, 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 velocity or the the attack of something else, or, and you can uh, map this to a bunch of other fun things. So you just map the same thing to a bunch of things. Right, so the, the R2-D2 um, capabilities are quite capable, um, and that is uh, our LFO performer and stepper modules. Uh, hope I explained everything, uh, and we'll be back with some more cool stuff. All right, take care.